everyone. I am Komal Vahi, a student of IB Professional School. Today, I will be sharing my data analysis report on the Airbnb dataset. I have basically used MS Excel to do my analysis. Firstly, I would like to throw some light on what exactly Airbnb is. So, Airbnb, that is Air, Bed and Breakfast is an online marketplace which lets people rent out their properties to the guests. The dataset captured only the records from the New York City from 2008. This dataset had around 30,479 rows and 30 columns which had all the details about the hosts and their properties. I will quickly show you the snapshot of the dataset for a clear idea about the rows and columns. As you can see here, the rows give the detail of the hosts and the properties, while the columns highlight the information of the state. This was all about the dataset. While talking about the problem statement, it basically dealt with the idea that Airbnb wants to help the investors by searching for a good investment opportunity based on the location. Airbnb also wants to extend its service by giving feedback to the owners or hosts on how they can improve their services. Considering the dataset and the problem statement, I will dive into the workflow. As we all know, the basic analytical project work starts off with the raw data and ends with gaining some insights. As mentioned earlier, my raw data set was in an Excel file with specific amount of rows and columns. The next step was processing the data set. Yes, data cleaning was required since it consisted of several blank cells in some of the core columns. In this next step of analysis, I have used several Excel tools to gain knowledge and insights from the dataset. To start off with the analysis, it is very important to know what are factors determine the growth. Categories like location, reviews, hosts and prices play a very important role to understand the growth pattern of Airbnb. Specifically talking about each category, I have picked up two important questions on which our problem statement can be answered. Like from the category of hosts, the top two questions could be what percentage of hosts have multiple properties in Airbnb? Or how many hosts are joining Airbnb platform each year? From the category of price, the top two questions could be on which price most of the properties are available? Or is there any relationship between price and number of beds available? Similarly, from the category of reviews, the top two questions could be Is there any relationship between price and number of reviews? Or does the average review score vary depend on the room type? Dashboard analysis helps me answer each and every question properly. I will quickly present the snapshot of my dashboard which will help you understand my process of answering the key objectives. This is the snapshot of my dynamic presentation. Here you can get an idea about the average price of Brooklyn and Manhattan. An investor can also understand the average price of the two selected properties that is apartments and bed and breakfast. As this is a dynamic presentation, as soon as, it, I, as soon as I add another category in the property type, we get a different picture regarding the facts and figures. Now that you have got the flavor of my dashboard, I will quickly state my key findings. Based on the objective we had, we can say initially Airbnb did not have access to several facilities, but eventually it covered two new neighborhoods. Airbnb services have shown a rise since its opening. On the basis of location, we can say that Manhattan is the most expensive neighborhood with the maximum price of beds, which can be a really good point for an investor. The quality of stay can also be a concern for an investor. And here, analyzing past reviews can solve our problem. My final thoughts are, 
As we all know that Air, every investor and Airbnb as a company wants to maximize its profits. So we can have two different cases. In case one, where the host already has a property and then he wants to connect it with Airbnb, here his motive should be on improvising his property type according to the demands of the customers in that particular location. In the second case, uh, if the investor does not have a property, but then he wants to buy one and then connect it with Airbnb, here his goal should be on targeting such a location and such a property type which will help him attract customers and earn positive profits. Also, a very interesting and a very important fact we could say uh, is that the host should ensure that they provide every specific detail of the property honestly and correctly, since missing values or inappropriate data will lead to loss of customers at the present as well as in the near future. I would like to end my video with a big thank you and I hope this video is helpful for all. Thank you once again and goodbye.